that how to build discipline. Do we agree that this is something you need to succeed? Then how to go about it? First thing is set short term goals that are feasible and practical. It's very important. If you set very long term goals, you will not be able to measure them. Yes, everybody wants to be rich. Maybe you want a Ferrari or a Mercedes or something. But you have to set a short term goal first. Then I'm going to begin that in the next two weeks, I'm going to cover this subject. Because you have to cover this much. You can run a marathon or you can run a sprint. It's up to you how you want to cover. Everybody has their individual style. You can't escape. You, have, you need to know the stuff to write in the exam. You can't escape from it. But doesn't mean you have to study all year and cram stuff or try to remember everything. You just have to understand. If you understand more than half the stuff, you will remember on your own. So the first thing is set short term goals. So it's okay to dream. It's okay to think very big, but you should have short term goals. That next one month I'm going to do this, next two weeks I'm going to do this, or next one quarter, three months I'm going to do X. And then just go for it. You know what I'm saying? Reward yourself when you follow a discipline. When you successfully follow a discipline, reward yourself. Set yourself a reward, you know, uh, maybe you will go watch a movie or maybe you will just relax, you will take a break of two, three days or you will do something which is not studying, which is not something you have to do, but something you want to do. If you reward yourself, then your brain will feel motivated to do it again. Yes? And third is, don't listen to your heart or mind. Once you have decided to do something, once you've decided to carry out an action that will help you on the path of success, it is a given that your mind would want you to do something different. Your mind will confuse you, your mind will distract you your mind will give you hundreds of reasons and excuses to not do it. And the only thing you have to do at that time is to not listen to your mind. At that time, you have to remind yourself that your mind is your servant and not your master. You are the master of your mind. If my mind says, pick up this iPad, and I say, I am your master. I am not going to pick up this iPad. Can the mind pick up this, pick this iPad up on its own? So similarly, your mind sometimes tell you, oh, forget it, don't bother this studying stuff. Let's go out, have fun, or let's call somebody, or let's watch, a, watch TV, or, or something, or something, or something. At that time, if you remind yourself that I am not going to do this, then your mind cannot force you. And fourth rule is, fourth principle of building discipline is to just do it. You know, just carry on, just start doing whatever it is that you have to do. Once you do this to your mind a few times, about six weeks, it will become a habit your mind will start listening to you. If you do anything repeatedly every day for six weeks, it creates something called a neural pathway in your brain. And that is the way to create any new habits. If you're going to give up in the first day or in the first week or the second week, then you will never get to a stage where it will come naturally to you. So that it comes naturally to you, you have to do it repeatedly for six weeks. How many weeks? Six weeks. If for six weeks you 
create this habit for example of getting up daily in the morning early it will become a part of you you will end up getting up early no matter what and there is something you can also try even now it's called pillow alarm have you heard it ever I've used it all the time before going to bed you just talk to your pillow as if it's a human being you talk to your pillow and you tell your pillow that wake me up at 6 in the morning or 5 in the morning and have that confidence that it will wake you up at 5 in the morning you will open your eyes and if you don't your pillow is no good <laughs> at 5 you will open your eyes in the morning it happens all the time and once you get used to doing something for about six weeks it will become a part of you because remember we want to get to a stage where success is effortless to you you know what I'm saying where it comes naturally to you does anybody dance in this group just tell me by the raise of your hand have you practiced for hours and hours and hours and hours? Have you? So now when you step, to when you, when you have to do certain steps, you don't have to think, right? You're just able to do them. Why? Because you've practiced. With discipline, when you do something, it will become natural to you. Whether that is remembering things or whether that is doing new stuff or learning new things in life. But don't forego discipline and that's the first key ingredient first first virtue make it a part of your life because everybody in this life everybody around you wants to be successful agreed everybody wants to make it big but you're not going to make it big just by dreaming big if you are serious about making it big, if you really want to turn your dream into an ambition, if you want to turn your dream into a goal, then you have to inculcate, instill discipline in your life.